I am back finally doing a sit down video which is it's been it's been quite a while I feel like I should say happy new year to you all and we are like the first of, no we're not we're like the fourth of fifth of March we're currently the fifth of March so um yeah definitely not new year but um you know it's the first time I think it's the first time I've sat down in front of the camera for a while so I feel a little bit nervous and I feel a bit of out of breath as well because it's just taken me ages to set up this scene on my couch kind of to get the lighting right so I apologise if it's not right still. I've got part sunlight, part artificial light and I'm sat on my new beautiful couch and it has beautiful cushions and it's so beautiful. So I'm going to talk about favourite things. One of my favourite things is my new couch and we've literally had this for, what day are we on? I actually have no idea. Oh my god, we've we've had it for a week. It doesn't feel that long. We've had this couch for a week and it's amazing. I've never had a proper couch before and it's just beautiful. Jim keeps calling it evil because it makes you fall asleep on it, which isn't really ideal. Let's get stuck into my favourite things. As you know, because it's been ages since I've done a favourite video, there might be quite a few things that I've enjoyed using and stuff over the past few months but I'm just going to talk about the things that I immediately sprung to mind. First of all my new favourite thing is this electric toothbrush. It's an all B1. Um, I think it was the whitening plus all B1. I don't know. I'll try and insert the um, link that I bought it from on Amazon in the description box but I don't know why I sounded like a robot then, by the way. I think in one of my previous favourite videos quite some time ago, I talked about like a battery powered, it's battery powered, but like a disposable battery powered electric toothbrush that was like six pound from Colgate. It's just like, it vibrates rather than actually like spins around. So I thought I'd invest in a proper one because I loved that so much. And we did leave our toothbrushes at our friend's house once when we stayed over and then I thought, well, if now isn't the time to buy an electric toothbrush, I don't know when is. Um, this was, I think I started using this. I think this was like a New Year's gift to myself, basically. I thought, right, I'm going to buy this. It was only about £35. Jim wasn't impressed that I'd spent £35 on a toothbrush. He was like, no. I was like, why don't you get one? They're amazing. So when I was in Asda, <laughs> um, a few months later, a couple of months later, a couple of months later after New Year, that's now a few weeks later after New Year's, after I'd been using this for a few weeks, I found... A similar one on offer for £15 so I bought him that as a little treat because he was never going to spend that much on a toothbrush but I absolutely love it and um, I've just put a fresh head on because I didn't want to be showing you I mean it didn't look bad or anything I just didn't want it to show you something that had been in my mouth on YouTube it's a bit weird so this is the cross action I think because I did have the whitening one on I mean <laughs> I don't know if it's made that much of a difference. I kind of feel like it has. It makes me spend more time brushing my teeth because it actually has a timer on it. It's got like a two minute timer that it vibrates. Well, it vibrates every 30 seconds to tell you to move different places in your mouth. So you kind of know how long to spend on each section of your mouth and each tooth and everything. So, And it makes you spend two minutes brushing your teeth. So it does make me spend that full two minutes rather than I don't know, when you brush your teeth normally, you have no concept of how long you're spending really, do you? You just kind of brush in until you're done. But yeah, this kind of makes me clean a bit more thoroughly. I find it much more easier to get behind my bottom teeth as well to kind of get rid of, oh, that stuff that they do in the dentist when they scrape the back of your teeth. Anyway, hopefully this will help get rid of that and not let it build up so much. So definitely recommend buying an electric toothbrush if you don't already own you own one I bet everybody owns one and I'm just like really behind the times but there we go another thing I wanted to mention in my favorites video was my favorite perfumes now I've kind of been reluctant to share my favorite perfumes I don't know why because I find it weird these are my scents like a lot of people might use these but I feel like is this really weird I don't know they're from Anne Summers, um, so I've got, they're both called Aphrodisiac, but one of them's Aurora, and the other one, 
it's just called aphrodisiac so I don't know but they smell you can't really smell it they smell lovely I just really really like the scents they're about you can get them for like 10 pound or 12 pound each or something they're, they're always on offer and um, they've got a few different scents out now as well as you can tell these bottles have kind of been battered and stuff they've just kind of like I throw them in my drawer my makeup drawer and I just choose whichever I fancy that day to spray on me so these are my favorites for sexy perfumes other perfumes that I do use are literally just from next um because they're cheap and cheerful and they smell nice so I'm not like I don't buy Chanel and all this kind of stuff or Britney Spears perfume I buy Ann Simmers another thing I've been absolutely loving at the moment um for skincare is this day cream and night cream from number seven from Boots I got these in the number seven Christmas advent calendar um, which I'm finally glad that I got my hands on this year. It's about £40 but you get so many products in it, so many samples and like there'll be a few samples that I didn't use and things but these are worth quite a lot anyway for these samples. So I got these at Christmas, there's still plenty of product in them and I absolutely love them. I just find that it's making me, I don't know, I always go through phases of concentrating on skincare to be honest sometimes I don't bother and then I'll go for phases but I've literally been using this day and night day and night and I feel like there may be the odd kind of blemish appearing this week but that's probably because I ate so much chocolate and things over my birthday so many takeaways um that my skin's gotten a little bit bad from that but my skin's pretty clear at the moment don't want to jinx it but it has been for quite a few months yeah another thing because I've been running and exercising loads you would have thought all the sweat um, would have made my skin like worse and break out and have spots. It's made it better. I really feel like I have fewer spots. I think it's just because I'm sweating so much it's actually really good for your skin. Anyway, these amazing moisturisers. And I did, once those finish, I also have the full size products. I did, these are about £25 each, I think. I actually bought another item from the number seven things that was on sale I think it was still in December as well and they had like a box set with loads of full pro full size products and it was about £40 instead of £80 so I thought I know I've already got the calendar with loads of samples in but I thought do you know what I think I'm going to just treat myself to that as well so I literally have so many skincare stuff now that's going to last me forever well I know once you've opened these you're 24 months so once this is open it'll last me two years which is pretty good um, as long as I don't use it all before then. So I've got the night cream and the day cream in full size. So definitely recommend getting these if you can get them on offer sometime. Do it. Oh, I've got one. Yeah, I've got one more physical product to show you. But I thought I'd talk to you about a few Audible books that I've been enjoying at the moment. So I, yeah, as you know, if you've watched before, <laughs> that I downloaded Audible and signed up to Audible quite a few months ago now to kind of occupy me while I'm running, give me something to listen to and I've listened to quite a few books on there now it's amazing because I literally never I never read books for so long and it's really nice to read them <laughs> to kind of experience the books in a different form and just you don't have to have time to sit down and read you can actually do it while you're running or whilst you're driving to work in your car and things. Recently I've just finished the Michelle Obama Becoming book which isn't like me to have downloaded in the first place but I like had a credit to spend and I thought what should I download and then I went onto the recommended page and that one was there and I thought do you know what I'll give it a go so yes I'm not into politics that I kind of just glazed over but it was quite interesting though to hear about her time in the White House and just all of her sacrifices and how she dealt with everything and then there was a lot of a big section of the book that was all about how how she was brought up in her childhood and I yeah and then obviously raising her children and in the life that she was raising them in in the public eye and all that kind of thing it was really fascinating and her voice is beautiful so it was really easy to listen to she was yeah a really interesting woman it's just really weird that I know a lot about her now but like I don't really know anything about politics and stuff I just know Michelle Obama's like my best mate now so there's that book and then I've just downloaded I keep thinking Guardians of the Galaxy and that's not what it's called Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy I have just downloaded that I've heard so much about it before from friends and just 
yeah, I've just heard things, people going to watch shows of it and this radio show and things. And I was just like, what, what is this thing? And then I think Jim suggested, why don't you find something for Stephen Fry? So I had a look and then that popped up and I was like, oh, this is voiced by Stephen Fry. And then I thought, okay, I'll download it and give it a go. Two lines in, I was laughing and thought it was hilarious. So it's brilliant. I can't stop listening to it at the moment. Um, so that is brilliant. And yeah, hopefully I'll enjoy the whole book. I don't see why not. I really, really love it. St Voice by Stephen Fry is just brilliant. And it's really good writing and really funny story at the moment. So I can't wait to carry on getting stuck into that. One last note, two last items to talk about. Um, oh, one of them. Can you guess what I'm playing? It's a Zelda game. I don't think you can even see this. It's a Zelda game called Minish Cap. I'll just shut it because of the volume. Um, and I'm playing it on Jim's 3DS, by the way, his beautiful Zelda-esque 3DS. That was a mouthful. At the moment, I'm trying to get stuck into games more and complete games more, not just pick them up and play it for a little bit and then forget about it, because I tend to have a habit of doing that. And when I when I started playing this, I was in the middle of playing Spyro, which Jim got me for my birthday, like the Spyro trilogy from years ago, and it's great because it's really nostalgic, and yeah, I'm loving playing with it. Playing it. It's such a simple, like, easy, chilled out game to play. Um, so I'm loving that. But we were away in Manchester and Jim had brought the Switch with him and he was playing a game on that. I've forgotten what he was playing now. And I brought the 3DS with me, but I just completed Bravely Default. So I was like, what am I going to play? But Jim happened to have a bunch of games on there that had been downloaded. So I had a little browse and I thought, oh, and we were just having a chilled out evening in the hotel room. Basically, we'd already been out in the day. So we needed to just find something to, to play. And I came across that and I was like, oh. Zelda Minish Cap and Jim hasn't even completed that one he's like played it a tiny bit and I thought okay I'll give it a go and Jim thought as much as I did that I was going to pick it up play it that evening and then forget about it and not bother with it and just play it for that evening the purpose of just entertaining me then but I love it I've really gotten into it so I'm just carrying on playing that at the moment I've kind of abandoned Spyro for a little bit and I'm playing that because Spyro I can dip in and out of. I'm not going to forget what's going on. It's a dragon who breathes fire. And it's saving other dragons and things. Anyway, that's not going to be hard to remember what's going on. Whereas if I stop playing this, I will forget completely. Because every time, single day I pick it up, I'm like, where am I again? What am I doing? And I have had to check online um, a couple of times to figure out what on earth to do. Because I do get stuck quite a lot. Um, but it's so satisfying when you do figure it out by yourself. But when it gets to like, I don't know, when you search the whole of Hyrule 20 times and you still don't know where to go, I have to turn to Google. So that is the game that I'm playing at the moment. And then one more item that I'm loving is... How beautiful are these? I am a sucker for packaging, obviously, because how could I not pick these up? These are the, I can't say this, Mau, my, Ma, Maua, Mau, <laughs> no idea, moisture products. And they're 100% vegan and 100% natural and there's no silicones, no SLS, no sulfates, nothing bad just nothing bad so they're vegan no meat in them no bacon sandwiches in my hair anymore stupid jokes stupid jokes anyway i actually had the red version i can't remember what that was for this is specifically coconut milk based for dry hair i think the other one was dry and brittle hair or no color treated or chemically damaged chemically damaged that was the red one and um, so i bought them ages ago and I thought they were all right, but it does take your hair a while sometimes to get used to the fact they don't have any sulfates and silicones in. Sulfates are basically, if you don't know about this, sulfates are basically what's usually in shampoo to cleanse your scalp and basically scalp and also your roots just to really, really get rid of the oil buildup. But they strip your natural oils from your hair to give you that clean feeling. And then conditioner is usually filled with a load of silicones, which basically 
coat your hair with like a plasticky sheen to make your hair look healthy and over time it's just it's just not good for your hair because your hair gets greasy and um, like the next day because your oils are trying to overcompensate for the fact that they've been stripped so they're like that's why you get oily hair and it builds up straight away. Anyway, I could talk for ages about <laughs> this like silicone thing. Um, and I actually might do a video at some point talking to my friend Darlena about it because she has been about three or four years at least, I think, using no bad chemicals on her hair. And it's really, really fascinating. And I actually think I might get her to sit down and have a chat about it. Um, I've tried many times to kind of go full on no chemicals on my hair and it's very difficult because your hair has to go through a transition phase but with these so with the red one I kind of gave up using them put them away in the cupboard and then every now and again I go through a phase of like I'm gonna try this again I'm gonna try this again so I have found I don't know what it is just the way I've been washing my hair I've found that they're actually working for me again now again for the first time they're actually working for me I don't know whether it's because I'm trying to grow out my blonde and there's quite a bit of my hair that's natural now and I've had quite a lot chopped off since last time I tried to use them. The thing is with the shampoo because it doesn't have sulfates in it doesn't have that natural lather. Well to be fair this one it does have quite a good lather compared to other sulfate free products that I've tried but it still doesn't give you that it's not as easy to use as normal shampoos so I mean, I've kind of got used to it now, so I do find it easy to use. But what I'm trying to get at is you have to use less product and more water rather than normally with usual shampoo. You, you, if you're not getting that lather, you just chuck more shampoo in your hand and go in with more. Whereas with this, if you're not getting it, you put a bit of water, more water in with it and it, it gives it that clean feeling. Oh, really hard to explain. I will do the video with Olina to explain a bit more about these. But these I absolutely love in and I feel like I don't want to go back to use the silicones in my hair because I absolutely love these. Um, so literally washed my hair with these this morning, these two, because I, I still haven't finished the red, um, but I thought I'd get these because the blue ones look gorgeous and Alina said she'd tried the blue ones and loved them. So yeah, um, that's what I washed my hair with this morning and this is the outcome. So no silicones and this is what it looks like. Um, so if you like, try some of these. That is everything I'm going to talk about today. I really hope you enjoyed watching. I'm not sure how long this video is. It's probably quite long actually, but I haven't sat down ages to have a chat. So I thought, why not? I'll just talk about a bunch of things and talk for ages and hope that you enjoy. Please stick around if you're new to my channel um, and click the subscribe button because I'm still fairly new to YouTube really. And I'm still trying to find the time to squeeze it into my daily life um, as much as I can and if you've got any ideas for videos you'd like to see from me please let me know in the comments but yeah that's all I'll see you next time